Good morning, first graders, and happy Friday. I had so much fun with you at our meeting yesterday. You guys all seem like you're getting a little sleepy, and I want you to know that's okay. Miss Anderson's getting a little sleepy of doing all of this work online, too. We are almost to the end of the school year, so I am sending you all of my love and all of my energy, and I hope that that is enough to get you through the last couple weeks of school. After today, we only have two more weeks left together, and next week is going to be kind of our last week of doing stuff online, and then our last week of school, you're just going to have some fun activities to do that won't be on Seesaw and won't be having any videos, which we I will talk to you more about that next week. So hang in there. You are almost done, and it is almost summer. We don't have many days left, so keep working hard. I'm really, really proud of all of you, and I'm just so grateful that I get to be your teacher every day. Let's read our Friday morning message together. Hello, first graders. 5-22-20. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. We are already the letters M and N in our memory books. I know how hard you are working on these, and I am so proud of you. Keep up the great work on your seesaw activities. You have Monday off for Memorial Day. Enjoy your long weekend and I will see you all on oh I will see all of you on Tuesday. You have art. Be kind to one another. Hugs, Miss Anderson. So you get a three day weekend. Normally we say you have three stay at home days, but you have every day is a stay at home day. Just sometimes you have to work. So you get three days with no seesaw activities. High five for that. Do two high fives because that's fun and exciting. So have fun this weekend. That's your only goal is to have lots of fun. Let's look at our memory book pages for today. You are going to do letter M. M is for math. So on your paper, you are going to create a math problem. And then you are going to write and draw about it. You guys have been doing a great job of creating math problems all school year long. You get to do any kind of math problem you would like, but you have to draw a picture and you have to do some writing too. Those are the only two things. And then Miss Anderson on our slide today, I included some of the things that we have learned in math this year. We've done measuring in inches. We have done telling time. We have done subtracting story problems, adding patterns, 2D and 3D shapes, and coins. We learned all about pennies, nickels, and dimes, a little bit about quarters. Um, we also did other things like fractions and graphing and all of those fun things. So you, of course, can write and draw about those. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. And then letter N, this is one of my favorite pages. N is for new friends. So I have two sentence starters here for you. The first one says, blank is my friend. And all you have to do is fill in one friend. But if you want to do more than one friend, you sure can. And then I wrote, we like to blank together. And some of the things that you can tell about are things that you like. What do you like to do together? Or maybe what do you like about your friend? Or what are your favorite things to do at school? Do you hang out with your friend outside of school? Do you guys play at recess? You get to write all of those ideas down. So those are your two memory books for today. Letters M and letters N. And the links will be attached in our virtual classroom so you can find those slides. All right, my friends, before I let you go to your learning for Friday, let's read our today's to-dos together. You have a phonics activity on Seesaw. You, I think it's, I don't remember which one it is, but you'll find it on Seesaw. Memory Books m and Read for 15 minutes. Silly Miss Anderson, I put that on there twice. You only have to do it one time. Deal? Um, there's a math activity that is what belongs in the ocean, and then you also have some workbook pages to do. You are going to watch for reading today. You're going to watch that little clip for the birds again. I hope you liked it yesterday. And you're going to do a little bit a, diff a little bit of a different activity working today's our last day to practice inferring and drawing conclusions. So make sure that you watch Miss Anderson's example. That will be on page one before you do page two and do your own work. And then play and have lots and lots of fun. 
All right, my first grade friends, that is all I have for you today. I hope that you all enjoy your weekend and have fun learning today. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.